हेलो गाइज टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू चेक द टी बी एन एंड द वॉटर इन ऑयल कॉन्टेंट ऑफ द ऑयल सैम्पल द ऑयल सैम्पल कैन बी ऑफ द मेन इंजन जनरेटर इंजन और द स्टर्न ट्यूब और एनी अदर ऑयल सो एज वी ऑल नो दिस इज अ डी जी सेल एंड वी यूजली पुट द केमिकल एंड द ऑयल इन दिस एंड द रिएजेंट एंड वी डू द सेटिंग एंड ऑल so uh, you must have seen this dg cell and i will tell you how to operate this dg cell this is the tbn reagent for the tbn value of the oil for the main engine and the generator engine and this is the unit of reagent as this is for the water in oil content and these are the syringes for uh, performing the test and this is the oil sample to be tested let us open this uh, dg cell when we open the dg cell you can see here there is one bottom tray and there is an agitator and below the dg cell you can find here one o ring and there is one sensor this sensor has to be very much clear with uh, because this is the only medium which is sensing the tbn or the water in oil content for the respective oil so make sure this sensor which is uh, visible to us here is clear and uh, before putting the oil in the sample and all uh, we have to make sure that it is also clear from inside also there is one uh, minimum line up to which the oil and the reagent has to be filled this is a line up to which the oil has to be filled so we will start with the uh, testing of uh, tbn test so let us see how to open the uh dg cell so for that we have to press this button okay now it is visible oil test cell okay or dg cell this is the uh water test shown to you okay for the range you can see here clearly all right so for checking the tbn you have to press the tbn like this then for generator oil then for next oil we have to press oil okay for cylinder oil okay if not next oil cylinder oil number 2 then oil then any other then keep pressing the oil this menu we can fill by making one additional selection so like for main engine lube oil the last value was 15 so new value will 15 changing to next oil is generator oil now if you want to check for the water in oil we have to click to water so click the water okay so here the range will come the water range for 0 to 10% or next if you want to uh, further reduce then 0.02 to 1% range all right then coming back to the menu with tbn okay suppose we want to check for the generator oil then already generator oil is in then we press the next next is pressed then we have to we will see this tbn is relative to new oil tbn new test oil then we do, we make the next selection now this is a procedure for adding the reagent so for tbn test we have to add reagent to the lower line reagent is tbn reagent this is a tbn reagent for tbn test so we have to fill to the lower line lower line is up to here this lower line okay we have to fill the reagent then we have to add 5 ml oil 5 ml oil we fill with the help of syringe we take the oil and measure it 5 ml and then put it inside it after that we have to replace the lid that means we have to replace the lid we have to close it and then after that we have to press next when it happens shake vigorously until the graph is finished so we have to shake the contents so the graph will be made like for 120 seconds the graph will be plotted so after uh, you have this uh, graph plotted you will have this value of respective tbn value 
so for cancelling right now i am holding it for 5 seconds okay so for the generator last tpn value was 23 all right similarly for main engine sorry uh, it skipped yeah for the main engine the last tpn value was 15 all right so if we go for the main engine selection then again next then for main engine lube oil we add reagent to lower line same up to lower line we add the reagent tbn reagent okay then we add 20 ml oil then we take the bigger syringe with 20 ml and fill the oil here and then replace the lid we replace the lid and then we do next and it says shake vigorously until the graph has been finished then the graph will be here for 2 minutes 120 seconds then the uh, sensor will sense the respective tbn and you will find the respective tbn value right now i am cancelling it all right next going to the water test so we go to the water so i select the range for 0 to 10 percent 0 to 10 percent i select here what we will do next we have to select the method some have the reagent a powder or some have the easy ship paste so here we have the easy ship paste which looks like this so we this is the easy ship water in oil test reagent easy ship okay so i will be selecting the easy ship paste number 2 okay then for water in oil test i will add 20 ml of reagent s reagent s is this the water in oil reagent around 20 ml i will put here then i will add paste this paste i will add fully then i will add 0.5 ml make sure it is 0.5 ml of oil so i will take this syringe and i will take the sample of oil to be tested is 0.5 ml here okay then i will add agitator this is the agitator which will mix all the contents and after that we have to replace the lid we have to replace the lid and then i'll make the procedure to start then after that shake vigorously until the graph has been finished when you do it then there will be 3 minutes of sensing then agitator will be there inside and we have to keep shaking it until the sensor will sense the water in oil content right now i am cancelling it so at the end of the uh, whole procedure it will show you the respective water in oil content so this is how we can check the water in oil test and the tbn test for the respective oils now i will be uh, doing the uh, tests for water in oil and tbn test so you will be uh, having a clear uh, perspective about how to do the test just now i have added the tbn reagent in the uh, uh, this uh, dg cell around 20 ml till the lower line next i am adding the 5 ml of generator engine lube oil all right now i have replaced the lid and i will start the procedure so i will shake vigorously until the graph has been finished you can find here the graph is plotting tbn 16 you 
can see here the graph is being plotted the level is rising the t1 value is rising Eighteen. You can see there the value is coming to be eighteen TBN. all right now it says clean the cell so this is the t1 for the generator engine new oil now we are performing the similar procedure for the generator number 2 oil and we are shaking the oil rigorously the dg cell now we have to check for the main engine new oil t1 value so we have added the reagent t1 reagent now adding the 20 ml of main engine lubel sump oil all right after this we will replace the lid and shake the oil in the dg cell for 2 minutes the graph has been started plotting the graph is rising you can see it is going in the range of 12 to 15 tbn usually the main engine lube oil sump is in the range of 12 to 15 tbn Now you can see the graph is about to over, and uh, it has come in the range of the lubels. T pen has come to 13 ppm, uh, 13 tbn. Guys, make sure that while cleaning the DG cell, do not use water. Only use the dry cloth or lint-free cloth for cleaning the interiors of the DG cell. Do not use water. now we are going to check the water in oil content so for that we change the uh, our test mode to the water now we have to range uh, check the range of 0 to 10 percentage okay next easy paste ship easy ship paste okay number 2 so we'll start putting the uh, following procedures 20 ml of reagent s so i'll put the reagent s after that i'll put the oil paste then i'll put the 0.5 ml of oil sample then agitator and then i will replace the lid and then start the shaking of the dg cell you can see the 20 ml of reagent s for the water in oil has been put up to the lower line now i'll put the easy ship paste and squeeze it until all the contents have been put inside the easy ship paste the easy ship paste has been put in the reagent as now i will put the 0.5 ml of oil sample followed by putting of the agitator and now i will replace the lid now i will start the procedure of shake vigorously until the graph has been finished you, you can hear the agitating sound here also you can find here the range of uh, water in oil content right now it's zero percentage so keep shaking the dg cell rigorously and keep checking in the screen it's still zero that means still there's still no water in the oil so continue this procedure for next 3 minutes it is still 0% showing so we have to keep continue until the countdown is over 
now after the test is completed it shows zero percentage of water in oil so after that if we are having any water content that it will show that respective percentage so right now there is no oil in the uh, there is no water in the oil so we have to uh, clean the cell now right so guys i hope we understood how to do the uh, tbn test and the water in oil test please carefully do the test and uh, make the dg cell functional always and never wash the dg cell or clear the dg cell with water always clean with the lint free dry cloth okay guys thank you see you in the next video